Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Nest.js. In the previous video, we had already talked about how to connect to the Postgres type ORM. Now in this video, we are going to learn how to do the registration process with the type ORM Postgres. So let's get started. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So first of all, what we have to do the in the previous i haven't told you about the which package we have to install so we have to install the nest.js type orm for the type orm and here you can see that type orm naming strategies that you need to use and i think you should use the nest.js type orm type orm type orm na naming strategies and for the config use the nest.js config okay so these packages you need to install for the type orm right so moving to the next part we have a registration process okay so we have a users okay so i will just opening the users part right users dto we have the create user details which accepts the user id user password and the username okay so user id basically that you know that user name or user id is the same thing user name it will go with the email right so user id user password and the username this is update user DTO. So this is for the update part. So I'm just doing the registration part. Okay. So entity which I'm using that is the ID, user ID, user password, username. Okay. So this is for the rest of the process like which to do task is assigned to which user. So this is a simple array object that can assign to the different users, right? Users controller. This is the main thing. Then users module which we are connecting that is type ORM module for the feature user type ORM X module for the custom repository users, right? Providers is user service controller, users controller, export user service. So here we have the adding all the modules in one place. So what we are using users controller users repository. Okay. So this is users repository where we have a user entity, right? So and users controllers, users module, user services, where we have all the services regarding the login register or whatever, edit, delete, update. So first we go with the registration process. Okay. So here we have the users controller. Okay. So this is users controller. So first step, import all the things from the next common. Then we have a source auth guard for the public create DTO that we have created the user DTO, update user DTO, user entity and the user services okay so first we have go with the registration process okay so at the rate public okay post registration register async sign up create dto user here what the parameters we are going on and this is the function that this is the function service where we have to create the user so let me run my cmd to check this one so here we have the nest project where we have a nest and where we have the full module then we have to open so nest start so here we go with the all the details okay so we have the users register okay so we have to go with this one so what except sign up body create it your user create user <coughs> so here we are using for the encrypting the passwords, we are using the bycrypt. Okay, so don't forget to add this bycrypt module also. So bycrypt hash should be there. And here you can see that I have imported the bycrypt dot bycrypt JS. So don't forget to add this package into your module. Right. <clears throat> so next part that is what we are doing. We are accepting the user with the user ID. So which is the user ID of the user? Okay. So first we check whether the user exists into the database or not. So we are using the type ORM query builder, right? So those who haven't not learned about the type ORM, so first they need to learn about the queries of the type ORM. Then they come to understand my video, right? So this is user repository that we have already declared, which is the user repository. This is the user repository from the user entity, user repository, right? So this is the user repository where we have the user entities, right? So this is the thing. Okay. <clears throat> then we have a users uh, create this one. So first we check whether the user ID exists or not. If it is exist here, that means user is already exist and we will 
return that error right then we will first then we will get the password okay so from the user and bycrypt that hash that password we cannot save the password in like random strings or something so we have to bycrypt this one and then create the user and save the user okay so let's see exactly it is working or not so uh, let me open my pg admin right so already i have created the deep, uh, some of the entries and let i will show you so it's starting let's open the postman at the same time <coughs> so here postman is opened <coughs> okay so it will accepting the another password this is a test okay so we have the authentication db okay so let's see the tables this is my users table which we have already added some of the things okay so let me delete this one where is delete query this is execute this is delete so i will delete this one execute the statement okay so let's go and check this one <coughs> go to the postman this is login so where we have the register so this make it register users registers okay so we have the users <coughs> users hyphen register right so let's check the route also we have a users and the register part right so here we have the users and the register in the body we have a user id user password then we i will add the username right so let's add the username over here and just add the username s90 at the rate gmail.com okay so i have added this one let's try to hit this one api send user id is already exist okay so i think where it is users view or all rows so it's not deleted so i think which user id i have originally 901 is already exist make it 9012 okay and send this user created let's check in the db and you can see that originally 912 with the hash password string is generated over here so this is how we are able to register the user into our db of the type ORM Postgres, right? This is our first step. And the next step, we are going to log in with that user, right? So, see you in the next video. Any doubt, any query in that, let me know in the comment section. Uh, one thing that I have missed, I think the DTO, I am not showing it. So, I will show you the DTO part also. So, DTO, create DTO is read only user ID, user password is a string, and the read only username, right? So, see the DTO file also, I will show you. And uh, anything which i am not showing it rest of the things i have covered it right then we have the user repository to save that user and here we have just user repository to create this you this one and the user we are just saving that in the user repository okay so any doubt any query in that let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day